The purpose of this event is to increase the awareness of youth. Maybe to awaken the minds of the youth and the people around. After decades of health warnings about tobacco smoking, cigarette sales have dropped sharply in the United States and Europe. But multinational tobacco corporations are targeting huge new markets in the developing world, aiming their advertising at women and a new generation of consumers not yet addicted to smoking. The tobacco industry in recent years has really focused on the young. If they pick up the habit, millions of new smokers will face serious health risks that already burden these populations. Asia is a prime market for big tobacco. One in three cigarettes in the world is smoked in China. But now, anti-smoking activists are pushing back. We want to uh, make our voices heard. And Big Tobacco is losing ground. Across Asia, grassroots campaigns against smoking have inspired new laws and growing awareness of the dangers of tobacco. Some of the most remarkable progress has occurred in the Philippines. Smoking is the number one killer in the Philippines. My name is Dr. Tony Liachon. I'm the president of the Philippine College of Physicians. It causes five of the top ten deaths in the country. Stroke, heart attack, cancer, chronic obstructive lung disease, and pneumonia. My name is Rachel Rosario. I'm uh, the executive director of the Philippine Cancer Society. Cancer is the number three cause of mortality in the Philippines and it's increasing in numbers every year, and a lot of it, I would guess, would be due to cigarette smoking. We were colonized by the Spaniards for 400 years. One of the things we learned about it was, of course, smoking. We do know that before modern packs came to the Philippines, Filipinos would also roll their own cigars. Culturally, smoking seems to be an accepted mode of socialization and an accepted mode of relaxation. Smoking is considered a school for the young Filipinos. The machismo or macho image of smoking would actually project a macho image for men. I know it's bad, it's bad for our health, but this is to relax myself so I'm out from work. The influence of Western television and movies, and I think videos will have an effect on everybody. There's uh, that vision of holding a cigarette and smoking with makeup. That seems to be something that we have to fight against. It's really hard to kick the habit. I try to lessen it down, cut it, but then you always have that urge. The Sin Tax Law was signed by the President on December 20, 2012. It has been on operation for almost two years. The Sin Tax Law has actually increased the price of a pack of cigarettes. Before, it was 25 pesos or half a dollar. Today, is 50 pesos or a dollar a pack of cigarettes. It's expensive. It's five pesos a stick. Ang epekto niyan, magbabawas ka ng... The effect on me is I'm smoking less. It's more expensive. Well, because of the syntax, I had to cut my consumption in half. I used to be a pack a day. Now I'm like half. Doon na lang kami sa tagdalawang piso, ma'am. All I did was switch to a cheaper brand. It's much cheaper that way. From 1998 to 2008, the prevalence rate of smoking in the country has never really gone below 30%. My name is Maria Encarnita Limpin. 
I am the executive director of Framework Convention and Tobacco Control Alliance Philippines. Immediately after the passage of the syntax, the latest uh, survey that we did in the country showed a dramatic drop in the prevalence rate of smoking. This time really going down from about 31% to 25%. That's a big reduction. The biggest thing that really happened to the syntax law passage was the participation of the health advocates, particularly Emma Rojas. I started smoking at the age of 17. And at the age of 44, I got throat cancer. Stage 4 throat cancer. And that was 12 years ago. When I was 11 years old, uh, my father was diagnosed with cancer. Me and my brother didn't know what was happening. And cancer, back in 11 years old, you don't know what it means. But during the Christmas Eve, my father came home really depressed, bald-headed, and without any voice. Uh, you can see the operation around his neck. They removed my vocal cords so that the cancer will go away. Before I got sick, I was an engineer and a very successful businessman. Yeah. <laughs> He's a former bo broadcaster, radio broadcaster. So imagine what kind of voice, what quality of voice he has. What really is e-commerce to you, uh, Emma? Well, uh, basically e-commerce or electronic commerce simply means... I still remember Dad's voice when he was singing. Uh, before, he used to sing a lot whenever there's a birthday party. He loves to sing uh, I Left My Heart in San Francisco. That's my favorite song. Yeah, you know? I know. <laughs> and I got a very nice voice then. I like my voice now. <laughs> uh, having stage more cancer is something very serious and that not all people here in the Philippines survive cancer, especially if it's stage four. 1984. You know, I'm the one crying there. <laughs> so, one way of saying thanks to God is making people aware of what happened to me. They, uh, they became advocates and my family members, my children and my wife became advocates also. Me, I'm uh, Erica, I'm the second uh, daughter of Emery and Paulette, and my two brothers, Einstein and Edward. My name is Edward C. Rojas. Yeah, I'm Paulette Rojas, wife of Emer. All of us in the family, are, we are volunteers. We're volunteers for the advocacy of the New Boy Association of the Philippines. We, we kind of realized that um, after he survived cancer, we, we thought that this is my dad's second life. We are raising the awareness of uh, people regarding the arms of tobacco smoke and in preventing cancer at the Kiragawakuna. This is Marikina City. They have their flag raising ceremony. This is a great opportunity for the New Boys Association to expose our advocacy, especially the graphic health warnings. It seems that we, the government is uh, blocking the uh, scheduled implementation. Mr. Mayor, can you explain to us why you're doing this? Well, this is a campaign for our youth that not to get into or hook into smoking. All of the strategies of the tobacco companies, particularly their advertising strategy, they are all geared to hook the young children into starting smoking at an earlier age, because at an earlier age, you know, the brain center is not well developed and therefore easily for them to get hooked.
And since most of the adults will actually grow old and eventually die, and therefore they need new market. And that is the reason why we're saying, you know, their main target is really the young ones, the children. The first time we come up with a uh our restaurants, they are very hesitant at first, but when the city health officers came in and explained what the campaign is, they are very supportive about, about it, and they even want another copy of it and a lot of stickers to post it on. It has been a tradition where smoking is acceptable here in our country, and it's a very challenging task to make them persuade that this is not healthy, why are you doing this, without uh, offending them. Uh, we will go to uh, another store first and then uh, high school. My robotic voice is quite powerful. So it's saying that uh, well, cigarette smoking is bad and the children agree that cigarette smoking is really bad. Right kids, uh, cigarette smoking is bad. Cigarette smoking is bad. Is uh, confronting him because uh, cigarette uh, smoking here is against the law and it's not good for the health of the passengers. And supposed to be he's, he's, he's not smoking here, especially in the public place where there are many people walking around him. I don't think that he will stop smoking because at his age he's uh, hard headed and he's addicted to cigarette smoking. If I see uh, the driver is smoking, I ask him not to smoke because it's against the law. And some drivers stop and they uh, feel embarrassed and some are, are so hard-headed. Uh, their face is something like they, ang they are angry with me and uh, I want to save lives of other people. I don't want for them to experience what we experience with Ember. contest where the youth got involved and this is our first place when you puff in a smoke of cigarette you can see your veins struggling because the smoke in the cigarettes causes a lot of carcinogens <laughs> the youngest who are usually buy cigarette here is uh, 15 years old uh, yeah, he wants to stop smoking. 53 years na kayo naninigarilyo. He wants to stop smoking because he feels something is wrong in his airways. Puso nga po. Opo. Ganito po yung ano. We advise him to, uh, to go to our smoking cessation clinic. There is another bill that would mandate the tobacco industry to put health warnings on the packaging of cigarettes all of these things that they are dangerous for, for the health of the Filipinos. The graphic health warnings have been helpful in other countries, and, and basically we're going to use this for the young population, of course, to the, the women as well. I've been to like some airports and they do sell those packs with the pictures of throat cancer, your lungs are all wrecked up, but uh, I guess it depends on the consumer if they'll be affected by those pictures. But for me, it wasn't. I guess it made you think a bit, but then at the end of the day, I'm like, uh, where's my pack of cigarettes? One of our objectives is to act the graphic health warning. So we want the pictures now, pag, pag, pag. We want the pictures now. Pictures save lives. In the way, sabay. So the bill has been passed and it's already a law, but then we want to see the pictures now.
as opposed to text alone to get a message across will be an effective tool to allow the recipient to easily understand the meaning that the message ought to convey. Visual reminders are more motivational than words alone. A picture speaks a thousand words. Any country where there is an intervention on cigarette smoking, we will see only the fruits of this around 20 to 30 years afterwards. It's going to be a long fight, so we cannot let our guard down. Definitely we have not won the war. I expect that the tobacco companies will try, you know, to talk to their legislator friends and probably attempt to erode whatever gains that we have achieved with the syntax reform. And this is really about preventing people from dying from tobacco use. What would make me stop smoking? I've been smoking for like seven years now, and I've been finding that trying to get that will to just stop. Um, I guess, yeah, maybe if the, the costs go up, or maybe when I realize something, that's when I'll, I'll stop. Amy Rojas a, a vigilant and aggressive medical activist was instrumental in this particular fight. And I hope to see more of Emmy Rojas's in our efforts to curb smoking, which is the number one killer in the Philippines. After surgery, I found out that my voice is very powerful. What I did is just show people what happened to me and uh, tell them that this is because of smoking, being honest, being that's truthful and saying what really happened to me is more than enough for people to understand that smoking is bad for everyone. One, two, three! Do that!